My husband was disgusted by my unborn baby, but now he loves it? Okay, OP. This is OKOP. I'm Samuel Donner. And I'm John Fry. We tell the funniest stories on the internet. And before we get into the stories, uh, we have a little announcement that you might be able to guess by what we are wearing. Yeah, you know, Sam, you're looking kind of fresh. Fresh? If, if fresh I, uh, why? If I don't say so myself, oh, because... Oh, is it because of my merch? Oh, 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 Cancel those Karens. We don't want them. Get them out of no, here. No, get them out of here. Get, get them, them out of here. here. John, like what those you got? boxes were moving. Yeah, we're moving boxes all day, ma. Boxes of merch after hey, you order. <laughs> please order. Please support us. Uh, but John, also, you got some merch on. Yeah, uh, you know, we got right the, uh, listen, for any time people are doing too much, look, TLDR. The LDR. People that think you're the a-hole, you're not. Not the a-hole. So we got merch Spank. that's cancel Karen hats, TLDR hats. We got not the a-hole shirts and bra. Ah, shirts and the shirts have like Van Gogh for the podcast listeners, podcast fam. That's the right. The shirts have bruv with like Van with Gogh Van in the Go background. On it. Very classy painting. Yeah. Very with, classy. Uh, and the other classy one, painting, modern text. Yes, classy painting, modern text. And with the shirt John's wearing, not the a hole. It has a beautiful naked lady. Very sensual. Very sensual. So, uh, but you, it lets people know, like, hey, the, the good guy right here, not the a hole. Exactly. Exactly good right. Guy. Cancel Karen. You know, you're part of the Cancel Karen Crusaders. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the whole thing. So, if you join guys, the movement, cancel join, those Karens. Cancel baby. the Karens, guys. Like, we we have to. Every person in America needs to be wearing a Cancel Karen hat. I believe it. For I us to it. effectively cancel them, I mean, like that yeah. will send the message. Only to all solidarity Karens. will send Only that solidarity. message, baby. So, if you guys want to buy it, podcast or YouTube, you can check the link in the description you can buy this and we got a lot of new items coming soon as well so that we do that we do check it out and with that being said i think Let's we got a into it. hot give me, fresh yeah, story give me, give me a juicy one. Oh, i got i got a juicy I title tear for you. into it like a piece of meat and have the blood drip down my gums and my chin wow oddly descriptive <laughs> <laughs> like serial killer level descriptive right there i love it all right my husband was disgusted by my unborn baby but now he loves it Disgusted? Disgusted. Damn. You that know, husband like... is a bad husband. He needs to go to the clink, go to the doghouse. No meals for a week. Well, you know, don't don't judge a story by its title, Samuel. Yeah, you know, yeah. we've I think we've learned that in all of our Don't judge an a-hole before we've read the story. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. Opie says, when we started dating, he, male 48, was very clear that he didn't want kids, and I, female 25, knew it because he told me a few times. And also just like Note the age difference there. Yeah, that's a pretty big age gap. Like there are 48 different places in and life. 25. Man's had like two divorces <laughs> and, you know, like made his wealth yep. on his yacht. He's like drinking wine and, and eating fancy cheeses. And like my girl just got out of college. <laughs> uh, hey, good for her. Like, you know, lock it down. Get that like, sugar daddy. Dude, I, I don't want to work for my whole life. <laughs> OP goes on to say, I made a mistake with my birth control Ooh. and ended up pregnant he was not happy at all. Yeah, make sure you, you take the right pills if, if you don't want to get pregnant. You know, to be, uh, be cautious. Use, uh, fi figure it out. You know, <laughs> you they know? used to have male birth control, but then the guys are like, this makes me feel weird. And then they I 100% believe that. They discontinued the male birth They're control. They're like, let's completely like modify the woman body. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. way I don't have to do anything let's to fuck my up your body. body. Uh, I like that <laughs> plan. So th did they just like stop developing it or something? Yeah, like, basically like the men had the exact same symptoms as, as women on birth control. And they're like, and they're like, we don't like this. And then they discontinued the study. <laughs> nice. Nice. During the first five months of the pregnancy, he acted as if I wasn't pregnant. Literally just not acknowledging. How do you not acknowledge that? <laughs> I don't know. Bro, you're, you're a dick of a of a significant other if you're not like massaging feet when they're Dude, pregnant. Getting, giving that getting jar the, of pickles. Getting the, yeah, the cravings. We were cra pickles yeah. and ice cream. You pickles know? and ice cream together. Yeah. When my husband had to start buying things for the baby and decorating her room, he actually started to participate in those things and be engaged. He was in the delivery room when she was born. And since then, she has become his world. He is an amazing dad. And our daughter, who's now six months old, loves him. And I thought he loved her too. Thought, all right. Well, I sense a turn, I John. I sense a turn. I sense something brewing. But a couple of nights ago, his friends... They're all in their 40s and 50s. Yeah, because he is old as heck. Because he's freaking old. <laughs> Came to our house for dinner and I overheard a conversation that I should not have heard. And now I wonder if he's honest or not. See, like 
those are the conversations that you want to hear too, though. It's like yeah, the conversations this, that that like like this is real talk, you know? Yeah, yeah. Conversations yeah. are not meant to hear. That's when people. The <laughs> That's dirt. true. <laughs> those are conversations you actually do need to hear. Yeah, are the yeah, ones yeah. you're not supposed to hear. One of his friends was making fun of him for being a dad at his age, and the other one said something like, "I thought you were smarter." His friends are kind of the a hole. Like, come on, that's so whack. It's like you're having like uh, also like imagine if he if he's like. He actually wants the kid now. Yeah. And is it, super excited. And we're like, you're a dummy for having kids. Like, come also, on. who cares? Like, if someone, if an older person be. was to have a kid, like, let him live. Like, In the words of John Lennon, let it be. Let it be. Oh, John Lennon. I, it was so funny. I, was, I, I thought you mixed up John and Lennon and John Legend, but I mixed it up. <laughs> two very different people. John Legend, John, John Lennon. Lennon. One has same. glasses. Not Only the yeah. difference. The husband's friend goes on to say, I can't believe she, he was talking about me, trapped you. And now you're changing diapers and preparing bottles at 3 a.m. This this friend needs to not be a friend. I, like, get out of here. Get him out. Like, what are we doing here? Come on, kick him to the curb. You got to have good people in your... You're, yeah, you're the average you of the five people circle. or whatever. You got to have a supportive circle around you. That's at right. At all times. At, at all, all times. times. My husband just laughed when he said that and said that even if they couldn't believe it, he's enjoying it. Which he's enjoying being a dad. Which props to the husband for actually, like, sticking up for his baby and his, his significant other. Like, that's like... Stand up move. And it's non confrontational too. Like he's not, not he's not being like F you, but I you know that first response, pretty good. Also, don't speak too oh, don't, no. okay. don't, <laughs> don't speak too highly of OP. Then his friend goes on to say that he's only trying to convince himself because he knows that she's already here and he can't change that. But he knows that he never wanted to be a dad. They have known him since they were teenagers, and that they know he's always hated kids, and it's impossible that he suddenly loves them. Bro. Just bruh, bruh by the bruh, but bruh. bruh, what, why, why are you saying all this? Dude, like literally it's like, they're just trying to have a nice casual bruh, evening, just yeah. have a few drinks. And it's like, this dude's blowing up yeah, his life. Bro, they're at like some like little party and this guy yeah. is just like, let me be a bringer of sadness right now. And maybe it's worth like really ask like there, there's there's a time and a place if you really want it and that's just not the time not the way to ask it like yeah ridiculous you know. honestly ridiculous i i just but bad friend bad friend totally it also doesn't know when to stop talking either no, it's he like, freaking doesn't. It, like the husband deflects the first time and then the friend is like whoa, whoa, whoa <laughs> let me dive deeper into this uncomfortable topic and just brick up the whole night. like my pistol didn't get you let me get my ak-47 and yeah, try again da, 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 da. so at this point my husband kept quiet and didn't say anything and the silence hurt me because i knew they were right. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. When I got pregnant, I knew that he never wanted to have kids and that keeping the baby would probably damage our relationship. Then I thought that he had changed his mind and now everything was fine. And at this point, I can't stop thinking about how he would probably resent me in the future. How can I talk to him about it? I don't want to seem insecure or make him feel that he doesn't love our daughter enough. Well, I mean, he was silent on the next one. I, like, I don't know if that is a indicator yeah. of him being like... I agree. It's, I think it's, it's not a hundred percent damning evidence, but no, it doesn't I, look good either. I mean, I think it's, I, I would view it more as like this guy is just trying to exit this very uncomfortable <laughs> and dumb conversation. Like, Fair point. You know, Fair uh, point. You know, yeah. uh, sometimes arguing against someone's strong held opinion just brings you down to their level and, yeah. and, and like leaves you just trying to convince them of something you already know to be true. So why try to why waste your life energy on exactly. it? Exactly. Like, yeah. You know what does do a lot for your life energy? What does? Slapping that subscribe and follow <laughs> button. Slap that subscribe follow. <laughs> we we know you out there, YouTube gang, podcast gang. Uh and, and we're here for you. And also, if you want to be here for us, Listen. cancel Karen March right here. Boom. Right here. And then, oh, bro, shirt bro. right here. Bro. Bro. We got all the shirts, all the caps you need to stay looking fresh in these streets. Fresh as a dove in the sky on a Tuesday night right before it's gone out and, you know, done the dirty with other doves. That. <laughs> Check out the merch. Slap the subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.